as always the first thing we're gonna do is actually get familiar with our workspace so you can see over here that i have a folder that i named it sushi bar but you can see that the only thing that i have over here is images and actually in a second i'll show you where to get uh nice images where i found uh nice images and uh over here you can see that these are all the images we'll be using i know what the child actually we won't going to be using but over here this is going to be our logo right but or this one right and here is going to be another one that we won't going to be using i actually have some that i have from the previous video but over here you can see that this is going to be our main header right and over here these are going to be the technically the sushi rolls right so now we're done pretty much with images now since i'm using the brackets text editor i really like their extensions i really like to work with them uh, because it just makes my life a little bit easier so i just want to show you the ones that i really am going to be using in this video so you can see over here that i have installed right and over here i'm just going to zoom in these are going to be the acb bootstrap snippets this is basically like a shortcut when we are working with the bootstrap we we're just going to be able to add a couple of letters and it's going to spit out right away a right away done let's say nav bar or something like that and over here you can see that i have bootstrap starter template right and that's another one that i like just by adding actually a bootstrap right away to my document so over here i'm just going to close it and you can see over here, if I have this bootstrap template right away, I can just have a new bootstrap template. All right, so I just press it over here, and I already am giving a new bootstrap template. What I need to do right away is I'm just going to save it, and I'm going to say that this is going to be index over here, and I'm going to say that this is going to be index HTML, right? HTML, right? So I'm just going to save it over here, and obviously what we want to do right away is able a live preview right so we're going to click a live preview but what we want to do is obviously we want them probably on the same page so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make this one bigger and just set them side by side so that makes my life a little bit easier and you can see over here this is what i'm talking about right so we have right away our a set up a basic bootstrap uh, let's say document right well, what I'm going to do, though, I'm going to delete this because we're going to be creating our own over here. And like I promised, the first thing that I'm going to show you is where I like the images, right? So over here, I'm just going to open the new tab. And here, I'm going to kind of pick, pick Jumbo, right? Or here, this one. So if we just click over here, you can see that there's actually we can pick the categories and everything, right? So or we can do the search so he's asking us to actually get the uh, photos in inbox so we're just going to say no thank you and over here if we go to categories and we just go down right so we have let's say food and drink right so we just obviously press food and drink and as we're scrolling down right you can see right away free download free download and the thing is with these pictures they, i like their quality and i like obviously that it's for free so you don't need to buy anything or you don't need to technically you don't need to sign up for anything unless you want them in your uh, let's say inbox so this is that's why i like this website right so we can just close it out right now because i already got all my images right and if we just go back over here and now we're sitting in html right and the first thing then I also want to show you right away that with this new bootstrap template, right, everything is set up. We don't need to download any files or make some kind of, I don't know, uh, links or anything like that. Everything is already done for us, right? They even explained that this is going to be the jQuery right away included. This is going to be a JavaScript. And over here we have a CSS, obviously, and everything, right? So the only thing we need to do over here is we'll need to just change the name. Right, so I'm just gonna say that this is gonna be a sushi bar over here like this, sushi bar. And pretty much now we're ready to jump to our HTML and actually start creating our header, right? I'm just gonna make this one a little bit smaller, right? So just as, as, as big as possible, our view is, right? So we'll see whether we can fit in one screen and maybe we're gonna make this one, oh, well, that's actually the, as small as it gets, right? And over here, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to say that I would want to create a section, right? And that section should have an ID. And over here, I'm just going to say that this is going to be a header, right? So this is going to be the name of my section. And after that, 
what I want to do is actually create already a nav bar in this header. So I'm going to say that this is going to be nav and bootstrap being bootstrap. I'm going to say that obviously I need to right away add a class and this is going to be nav bar and nav bar default, right? Default over here like this because we're going to be doing all the styling. And over here, we're just going to write the role and we're going to say that this is going to be navigation, right? So now we pretty much set a wrapper for the nav, nav bar. And over here, what we're going to do is we're going to start right away with the div. We're going to call it the class and we're going to say that this is going to be nav bar header class over here. And after that, we're going to right away create this button when we are actually, uh, when our screen is going to be smaller, right? We're going to right away have the toggle button right so what I'm gonna say that this is gonna be a button and here it's gonna be type and this is gonna be also a button and class we need to add a navbar toggle right navbar toggle over here and then we're gonna say the data data toggle uh, attribute right toggle over here and that one should be equal to co-apps or here like this now after that what we need to create is a data target and that's going to be our id so i'm just going to say target and let's say for this case we're just going to say i don't know uh, not nav bar maybe button one right but but one something like this right uh, again you can obviously use your own one use your own imagination and over here what we were going to do is add these three icons so i'm going to get a span and i'm going to say class over here and this is going to be icon bar right then i need obviously three of them now i can see the first one over here ap appearing so we're just going to copy this like three times and now we have our little button and obviously now that we have created over here this button now we need to create uh, what we're going to be putting within the button right but before that let's just add our uh, name so i'm going to say that this is going to be a over here a link and i'm going to say class and this this is going to be a nav bar brand right nav bar brand over here like this and i'm going to say that this is going to have a href attribute and that's going to be pretty much a hashtag and after that we're going to say that this is going to be a sushi bar right and again as always we're going to be adding fonts and all that so now it's pretty basic bootstrap uh result right so now we have created this uh, header div so now we would need to actually create where where our uh where our content would be located right so when we press over here actually something is appearing right so over here the first thing we would want to create is a div and i'm going to say that this is going to have a class and over here i'm going to say that let's say collapse right this is going to be the class and nav bar and i'm going to say that this is going to be nav bar collapse collapse over here but here i need to create an id and it needs to be a but one right because it needs to be the same exact as this one right so we just create that one and now all the uh let's say links and on our lists and all that we're going to place it here so i'm going to say this is going to be on our list and it's going to have a class over here and we're going to say that this is going to have a class of nav nav bar nav right and after that we're going to create a list items and we're going to say over here this is going to be list item and we're going to say that this is going to have a link over here so i'm going to say this is going to be a link right and that link is going to be in this case i'm going to say that this is going to be a soup and i'm going to copy this again like four well three more times but it's going to be four total right so over here we're going to say that this is going to be a spring roll right something like this then this is going to be a uh, appetizer right i don't know whether i'm spelling right but i mean you get an idea signature and signature rolls over here like this right so now we have over here our list items so if we open up this is going to be our menu and maybe let's over here start already putting a comment so it's a little bit easier so this is going to be a header section section over here and then maybe we're going to right away create a comment this is going to be nav right and over here once we're done actually with the nav also let's put end of nav and over here we're going to create that this is going to be a next one is going to be 
uh, the main content, right, of the header. So header main content, right? And over here, we're going to be placing actually the image and, and, and all that good stuff, right? So we go over here, and again, we're going to start by creating a div, right? And we're going to say that this div is going to have a ID, and it's going to be ID of content, content over here. And the reason why I'm going to using these divs is actually be placing this, uh, the image and everything uh, vertically, align it in vertically. So over here, we're going to create another div within that div, and you'll see why we're doing that. ID, and I'm just going to say that this is going to have a content box over here like this, content box. And within that content box, we're going to start placing actually our image, right? So I'm going to say that this is going to be image over here. And I'm going to say that this is going to have, this is going to be the logo image. So I go to images and I find where's my logo over here like this. And right away, I want it actually to be responsive. So I'm going to say image responsive, responsive over here like this. So it actually fits all our screens, right? So I'm going to say, what is the alternative attribute? This is going to be, let's say, sushi image over here. And here we're going to create a paragraph, right? And the paragraph is going to say that this is going to be neighborhood sushi bar, right? Neighborhood sushi bar over here like this. And over here, we're just going to create our link over here like this. And I'm just going to say that href. And here it's going to be uh, let's say order for delivery, right? This is going to be what's written in our box. So I'm just going to say order for delivery over here like this, right? So now we're pretty much done with our HTML. And obviously we will need to uh, start styling. Now before we do that, I just want to show you again another brackets extension that I really like. And it's actually Beautify. So I'm not going to open this because sometimes it takes long for the brackets extension. Just show you where the brackets extension Beautify is. So if we go over here to the file or we go to the edit, right? You can see over here Beautify or Beautify on save, right? So either one that we want, right? So over here, I'm just going to click Beautify on save. So the moment I'm going to save the file, you can see that everything is how the, actually very compact, right? So now the, the, it's not anymore the case where I have everything willy-nilly. Or what we can do is actually select all, right? And we can click over here, beautify, right? This is another option that we can actually do. Now, once we're actually done with that, let's go ahead and actually start styling, right? So over here, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I would want a new folder. And that folder is going to be CSS folder, right? And within that CSS folder, I would want a new file. And I'm going to call my CSS main CSS, but obviously you can call it whatever you want. And you can see that right now I gave it a CSS extension over here. And over here we have our index. So once we jump to main CSS, we're actually ready to start styling. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,